It's been a long time, but we've got lunchtime pickups. Welcome back to Scottish Movies, and yeah, it's uh, it's lunch, it's Friday. Um, I've just been out on my lunch to the uh, local charity shop, um, basically just to save myself a bit of time tomorrow, really. And boy, am I glad I did. Uh, I managed to pick up five titles uh, for £2. I'm going to show you the receipt there now. You can see it. I don't know, two pound, uh, and yeah, I got a couple of quality items here, really quality. Uh, I'm gonna show you everything else first. So first thing I picked up, so I've never actually seen. I don't know why. I might start try to start watching her a couple of times, maybe. But it's a sealed copy of Couples Retreat with Vince Vaughn and uh, Jason Bateman, John Favreau. Quite a few people on that. So uh, yeah, that's cool to find. Next up is a manga film. Is it manga or... Uh, I want to say manga. Anime. Anyway, with some description. Metropolis. I uh, don't really know anything about this one. Uh, total film gives it four stars. Uh, yeah, it might be pretty good. It's probably up there with like Akira and things like that. Uh, Japanese anime. Yeah. Written by the writer of Akira. So yeah, it's probably going to be pretty good. Um, uh, two discs. That's pretty cool. The next thing picks up. Uh, this was sealed as well. Don't have a clue what this is, but it's it's from MTV. Must be a series. Season one explicit. Vampires, werewolf, zombies, and the cops that protect us all. Death Valley. Not a clue, but uh, new factory sealed. Uh, yeah. 12 episodes it says. A year ago, vampires, werewolves and zombies descended on the streets of California's San Fernando Valley. Death Valley is a dark comedy that follows the cops and captures the monsters and the crew, camera crew that captures the cops. I've not a clue, but that's pretty fun. Uh, rated 15 for gore and sex references and violence. So yeah, we'll have to check that out. Uh, and now on to the really good stuff. Uh, last week in this uh, local charity shop, I managed to pick up a steel book. And I'm wondering whether someone's given in a bunch of steel books because I've got another one. Uh, and this isn't particularly a film I need because I've already got it. But I'm never going to leave this behind. It is a steel book of Coastbusters. And this is in mint condition. There's the spine. Look at that back. That is Loving that. Um, even got a digital code. I'll take that out. No, I'll just leave it in. There you go, Blu ray steelbook of uh, Ghostbusters. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm never going to leave that behind, but loving that. It's in fantastic condition. And on to the, the best of the lot. Uh, and just to prove I did pick this up in the charity shop. I'm going to insert a bit of footage here, in case you don't believe me. Yeah, that was right. I was not leaving this behind. Arrow edition, Bride of Reanimator. Yeah, look how cool this is, guys. Um... Massive box set, so it comes with it comes with a huge thick booklet. I've never seen this film. Uh, I say booklet, no, it's like a comic, like it's like a graphic novel. Oh, so wow, that's cool. I'll try to read of that, but yeah, loving that. And I have the one thing there is, there is one thing that you might consider not the best, 
Um, it's got three discs in it. It doesn't have three discs of reanimator. Um, this is the internal bit. Uh, yeah, it has reanimator bride of sorry bride of reanimator R rated edition on Blu-ray. Bride of reanimator, I think it's unrated edition on DVD. We appears to be missing a Bride of Reanimator unrated Blu-ray. Well, I'm not too bothered because I'll show you all the, all the discs there. You see that pink one? That is basically a copy of The Blob on Blu-ray from 1988, which is a film I saw only, uh, I think, last year and loved it. And I've been trying to get my hands on the, a copy of that for a, for a while. And although, uh, obviously, this has got, obviously, I've got a book in there as well, obviously. A little Mario card. Uh, here's your booklet with your pictures and his writing in there. Um, yeah, so it's not kind of complete, so I couldn't really trade in CX, not that I really want to. I mean, it is worth, I think if trading CX, it's worth about 18 quid. But they're not going to take it because it's, not got, it's got a wrong disc in it. But I, uh, the fact it's got the blob in there. Uh, I'll take that all day long. I I I love I've I loved that film more than when I watched it. I've never seen Bradley Reanimator. I've got the blue. I've got the DVD. Um, it's like I said, the R rated one sounds like a pretty good addition. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to leave this behind. But it's really weighty as well. So yeah, uh, Bride of Reanimator Arrow release. And basically, so for all these, I paid as I saw a receipt before, just two pound. Um, <coughs> it's actually six for two pound normally, but I couldn't even find it. As I could have actually got another one, but I couldn't find a six film I wanted to pick up. But yeah, I'm not too bothered. So yeah, that was um, a pretty hefty lunch, I believe. Um, I'm not eating, eating anything yet. <laughs> but yeah, uh, comment down below what you think of these pickups. Um, uh, is the brand of Reanimator any good? I don't know. I've never seen a Reanimator f a film. Um, is it from the 70s or early 80s? I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like and share, share and subscribe. Enjoy, enjoy your lunch, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.